and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sea Monster Control. We're gonna try out this deck again. This was a fun one to play. So basically what we have here is we have a control deck with our Sea Monsters, but it's not just a deck that's um, you know dedicated to uh, tossing your whole deck and going deep as fast as possible and leveling up Nautilus as fast as possible and all that kind of stuff. We're trying to play a control deck that, um, you know, has has like a bunch of good interaction and um, early stuff and, and all that kind of all that kind of thing that just kind of lets the game drag out. And then eventually you do you do um, achieve deep by having 15 or less cards in your deck and your sea monsters do take over the game, you know, in the late game. Um that's kind of what, that's kind of what we're doing here. Like we're still playing like lure the depths uh, to draw a C, to reduce our cost of our sea monsters and draw one. And you know we have like our mid range sea monsters also that we can kind of play to help stabilize and get to the late game. And then we have like these things kind of take over. Um, so I really liked I really liked this deck. I liked this kind of more than the all in uh, kind of sea monster deck because I like our interaction. We and particularly we're really about doing one damage and stuff and and getting rid of decks that are trying. To go wide with small creatures because we have make it rain we have vile feast and then we have twisted fate also and of course twisted fate's red card it can do one damage to all the all of our enemies so we are able to kind of keep them from going wide with these effects obviously we have withering whale also so got all that kind of stuff and there are a lot of uh, go wide aggro decks running around these days so let's try some sea monster control it's a fun one. Uh, don't you think the Toad is a really bad card? Is the question. I think it, I think it does its job, and its job is slow down aggro. That's its job. Um, the like the burn deck is really really good, and we need it to be slowed down. And it can do that. It can slow down the burn deck. And that's that's what I want it to do. So it has a very specific job. Like, if we're playing against control, do we want that 1-4? Not so much. But the burn deck is good enough that you need to be able to slow it down. No, do not draw two cards. I do not want them to draw two. Okay, well, I guess they're drawing two. Yeah, Crimson Disciple is definitely a, a card that is uh, difficult for us to deal with. Absolutely. Hmm. I was hoping that we're going to draw the 4 drop and have it turn into 3 mana. That was my hope. Got a lot of abyssal eyes though. Twisted fate would be rough. Yeah, we have uh, one vengeance. One vengeance in the list. Never lost a fair game. One vengeance and one ruination. No, I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh, so don't know too much about that game. Well, 
Well, good hand for the opponent. They're curving into their champions. Champions are good. Yeah, champions are good. Let's play another one of these so that they have removal for one. Oh no. This is going to be a huge blowout, isn't it? Of course. That looks like a concede right there. Alright, I surrender. I will move on instead of spending another two minutes losing. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try again. these do. Lots of Twisted Fate and Withering Whale today. So make it rain in, in Withering Whale. We have not... Uh, we've not played against a deck that does not have... It has not had Make It Rain or Withering Whale so far. I don't really want to just trade with the Petty Officer. Okay, good. Like, I, I don't think I would have even blocked that Petty Officer. I'm gonna pass. If they want to pass, also, I'd be fine with that. But they didn't want to pass, so we'll play that thing. Draw some more cards. Not really, I don't know, not putting a, a lot of defense, like we don't have like interaction spells for them too much. We got like these Devourer of the Depths. Black Market Merchant is amazing. about a turn they just took six cards from my deck I have six cards in hand talk about a turn yeah that's that's yeah that is definitely the deck going off right there Now Twisted Fate's leveled up. So 
So we'll, we'll do the attack first. Like, if I play Devour the Depths to try to obliterate the Twisted Fate, all they have to do is play two spells and they get the red card, and then this doesn't, then that doesn't work, because then they'll have the same num same toughness. So maybe if I attack first, maybe that'll incentivize them to play a couple of things and get like the blue card, red card, stuff like that, have less mana, and then I can Devour and get rid of the, the Twisted Fate at that point. Pretty, that was a pretty awesome turn. Do you like Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods? Like, those cards are, are great. Hmm. I guess a, a gold card would also... Yeah, so if I play this, all they have to do is play anything in response, and they would gold card it. So I'm gonna just play the Toad, save some mana, try to Ruination next turn. Danger Hold it, partner. But they have like infinite cards and they all cost like no mana because these black market merchants and they're, they were all mine so they're all like good cards. Set the hooks. Crazy. Protect yourself with Twisted Fate and Lee Sin set up once. You're not watching your card count. How is how is Lee Sin getting I guess it was just like a Lee Sin deck? Because Lee Sin doesn't really draw more cards, right? It was just like an Ionia, like draw a bunch of cards deck. Gonna play all my sea monsters. Alright, well, good thing I played Ruination that turn. It's not like my opponent has anything left. I'm going to start with the Toad, where I can decide whether I want to play the Hoarder or the Devourer of the Depths. Depending on what they do. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. That card is great. I feel like I do want these treasures. Really want to draw the treasures.
Yeah, that card was... Um... That card was the uh, take... Uh, put a follower in play into your hand. And so it doesn't work on champions, but you can take... And it has plunder. It's it's plunder, Take a, put a follower in play, and put it into your hand. So you can steal anything. No, that's not a treasure. It's just, it's a normal Bilgewater card. It's like six mana. Okay. Playing against Karina Control. So, we did have like some, some decent removal for little spiders that I could have kept against Karina Control, but honestly, we have a lot of that in our deck, and so I didn't feel like we need to keep it in our opening hand that we had a good chance of um, finding it anyway. Yeah, I shouldn't have played the followers. I mean, the game the game was over whenever they had, um, I guess it, it was turn five. Yeah, because yeah, they played Twisted Fate on turn four, and then turn, turn five, the game ended on the spot when they went, um, you know, like all like double black market merchant, double pilfered goods. The rest of the game really didn't matter. That game was over at that point. Just in case they pass, I don't want them to make me waste eight mana. I tried being Okay, so they're getting my things down to one toughness. Yep. And that's okay. We get Vi out of here. No! Another Vi. They get the vies, I get the vile feasts. It's not bad. I'll take that. So I would get those treasures in the deck. Five fives. One damage, you say. Cool.
Glad they don't have Noxian Guillotine. Alright, they're getting there slowly but surely. Could have a, you know, just a Karina right here that could finish these off. I wouldn't want that, but... Maybe they only hit two. Come on, get a bunch of Ledros. A bunch of Ledros in here. Ledros. Oh, darn. All right, well, they got three. Why can't they just have, like, all their spiders? <laughs> Why can't they have that part of their deck? Nautilus just doesn't do anything right now. Not for an another nine cards. We have been... We've been tossing a bunch of sea monsters... So we'll get those back, because we've been just drawing all of our, you know, vile feasts. And stuff like that. Hmm. What's obviously going to happen? How do I stop this thing from killing me? away from deep. Finally, there's the spiders. I wanted them to uh, play their burn spell before I I did my withering wail. Right, we're getting closer. Still one away from being deep. Guts, golden glory. I pull the strings. Hmm. It's a lot more cost effective to play the Nautilus first. But there's a there's a few problems. Um, 
If I play Nautilus first, they could have like vengeance for the Nautilus, and then I don't then it doesn't get to level up. Um All right, we deep. And the other thing is I wanted to get this out as early as possible to get these, um, get the other treasures in my deck as fast as possible. How many did we actually get rid of? So we got rid of like four of them. No. Not that big a deal. Let's draw a treasure. Okay. All right, come on. Good stuff. Treasure trove. We get five random cards. We need expensive cards. Expensive cards. Not one mana cards. Nice. No one mana cards. This is my third treasure tr trove I've cast. The other two treasure troves, um, I had a total of, let's see, let's play, let's see, burst spells cost one less. I had a total of five out of the ten cards were, were one drops. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, I had the attack token? Why did I think they had the attack token? Oh my gosh, I could have attacked. <laughs> just how they were playing and everything and how they weren't they weren't doing anything. I just thought they had the attack token. I oh man. I then I I passed because I wanted to you know get them stuck with the mana and whenever I whenever I clicked pass I saw uh, you know I looked over here, which I'm gonna blame is you know a ways away from me and kind of through the mic, but yeah I looked over there and I saw I had the attack token and man I I just felt really bad now, man I feel bad now. I am keeping Withering Whale up. I'm not going to cast the Lure of the Depths. In case they would play a burn spell. Yeah, I feel bad now. This is obliterate.
I am not scared of Ruination because they played one earlier. I don't think they have another. Just because I say that, so then a, a Ruination just pops up in their hand. One of their cards changes into Ruination because I say that. See, like, if I would have played this, then they do that, then I'm at three. Where if I if I ha let them do the Ledros trigger first, um, I can go to four. I basically have one extra life. Oh man, we actually won. That treasure was really good, and then I, I missed my attack. And then it started looking pretty bad after I missed my attack. But we actually won. Winds are coming pretty rough today. You, you know, it's... This isn't the... Today hasn't been the win day, so... That was good. That was good. Yeah, we were living on the edge, that's for sure. We really had to, we had to fight real hard for every win. No free wins today. It's not free win day. That's Wednesday. All right, playing against a uh, slower deck. So where we would like our lure of the depths. We don't want these make it rains. We don't want thorny toad. We don't want our anti aggro cards. That's what I got. We got a couple anti aggro cards, a couple seven drops. Try to make it work. Maximus, can you? I don't. I don't know what that means. I said, what is your rank league? Can you reword that, I guess. Is this diamond? Oh no, no, we're in masters. Yeah, it's like we have like the the number. Um, I want to stun. Do, 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 do. Yeah, basically with with mine, like how it has the number. That's how you can tell it's it's master's rank because there's the number. There we go. Paper. 
Single combat. Do you want to come up here, Pop? You can just jump on up. You don't have to... You don't have to go crazy. We're going to have those both be one toughness for our Twisted Fate to finish them off. This being a Karma Lux deck, I kind of assume they're playing barrier cards, and I guess saving a Vile Feast could be good for a barrier. That 5-5 is pretty tough. That 5-5 five is also pretty tough. Alright, get these treasures in our deck. That's a good turn for me, though they didn't, you know, they did nothing. Not bad for me. Well, I do want to hold up Vengeance for one of their champions. They did nothing last turn, and they can't play Lux, so they could only play Karma. If they go Barrier, I Vile Feast. Nope, okay. Playing all these things that are so tough. Gets golden glory. Nice. Yeah, I'm just passing again. Man, I knew I should have just passed back. From the bats? Which which bats? Which one's Mike? Also, hope you're having a good day, Mike. Not block here. Seven's pretty safe. Six mana to spend. So I'm keeping Vengeance available for Lux. So I can respond to something, but I guess... I guess that plan didn't work. Burst speed.
Oh, the 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 4-1 challenger gets another uh sea monster. No, I don't yeah, I don't think it's a bat. It's like a It's like that's like a ship. Jaw hunters. It's like some people on a ship. I can see like that being like a bat wing. Well, I guess I'll try this now. Yep. So I didn't really have a lot else going on. Okay, yeah. Thought it was like a sea bat. You will be scoured from yeah, it's lives. it's tougher to see on the phone, that's for sure. Where are we at? We're seven away from deep. We find our treasures also. They didn't cast the final spark. Deal five to all units. Fortunately, that's not so good. Not yet, at least. We need to go deeper. <laughs> A sea bat. I like sea bats. Opponent's being very patient. Heart and mind as one. Where there is life, there is hope. Probably means I'm dead. No, I, I, I'm not sure if Drain works around top. Honestly, I kind of don't think so. Scrub Lord. Knowledge springs from many sources. So possibly they don't have a deny. And that resolves.
Don't really know why they targeted that and not the 1-1. One -one. Hey, Storm. The, the spell has Overwhelm, even with Vile Feast, it still would have done 8 damage to me. No, it doesn't, it doesn't fizzle. Alright, so now we're deep. So now we can try to have Devour the Depths, obliterate the thing with the Unyielding Spirit, but obviously it's just the, the Lux and the Karma that are killing me anyway. Awesome, Scrub Lord. Yeah, no. Uh, I think that deck could definitely have a third Sejuani. Um, I don't really know, I just don't really know exactly where to put it because, you know, I like all the other cards also. But yeah, I, I would def I wouldn't mind a third Sejuani in that deck at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that deck never, uh, never levels up Sejuani, and that's okay. Karma Lux deck's pretty good. For justice and all things bright. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. That was a long game. All right, GG's. Basically, it was over whenever they denied the vengeance that was on the Lux, and you know, then I couldn't kill Lux, and so the game's over at that point. But it just takes another ten minutes. But that's when the, that's when that game ended. But keep on playing against all these control decks. It's basically all we've been facing, and and. Therefore, like, yeah, again, another control deck. The lower part of our deck has looked really, really bad. You know, Make It Rain, Withering Whale, the 1-4, the this 3-2 Lifesteal. These cards have looked really bad. But, you know, like, they're, they're in here to try to help against burn, but we're just, we're not facing any burn at all. All we're doing is facing control, and so then all these, you know, like, half of our deck just looks awful and it's make it's making it really hard to win when we have you know all these dead cards like make it make it rain does nothing hey lure the depths i forgot that was in our i forgot this was in our deck this card's good Not that card that card's good 
Uh, both, Sige Mister, they they changed how the like the ranking's not as uh, volatile as it used to be. That was something that they changed. And there's also not very many people in Masters right now. So losing in Masters really isn't a big deal because there's just not very many people in it. I'm I'm probably close to the bottom. You know, with the one four one three, we're probably really close to the bottom. Got got. Yep. And now the abyss this abyssal eye costs five after it's bounced. I guess the the lure doesn't do anything anymore. My decks looked really bad against control. It's did not design this really to, to play against control with all this this damage. Uh, small amounts of damage and everything, but it, it's looking pretty bad against control. Depth says grant them everywhere, like they get minus one mana everywhere. How am I only down one card? are a lot weaker in general without hard removal to back them up with all the tough heal buffing cards added. Well, the thing is, is Burn Aggro is the most popular deck, and that deck doesn't have any, you know, tough or health buffs. Like, okay, some people play Transfusion, but still, like, that's... So we're kind of designed for... Because it's not only just, like, the one damage things, but it's also, yeah, like, the one fours and these three mana three twos. They really haven't been good either. Mm -hmm. 
Nocturne Fervor doesn't make removal worse. Re removal makes Nocturne Fervor worse. Like, Nocturne Fervor as a fizzle to removal doesn't. It it that's only that's only applicable on like Grasp of the Undying on on life gain, like that. But, um, Nocturne Fervor is a great card. Gotta trust your never lost a fair game. It's, it's arguably better than Get Excited. And I see a lot of people playing two Nocturne Fervors, and I, I really don't understand when they allow you to play three why why you'd only put two in your deck. Like they're it's not capped at two, the last I've checked. A lot of people put two in their burn deck and I don't understand why. It's three direct damage where the cost instead of instead of discarding a card, you just have to do three damage to one of your own things. That's most likely something you want to be doing anyway. And again, like grass the undying and stuff like that. And it's, it's usually easier to do that than discard a card. Like like if you had to choose one, discard a card or do three damage to one of your own creatures. Most of the time, you're gonna want to do three damage because you don't want to discard cards because your your cards are designed to deal damage to your opponent. Still have four mana to protect Karma. Let's draw our two. That's a good draw. Devour, that should hopefully obliterate the karma. Because I assume this is going to get, like, denied. Like, twin disciplines, or, you know, something like that. Barrier. that one. Alright, so we draw our next card. We we are deep. Now we can, you know, play Nautilus. Make these things a lot cheaper. Okay, alright, Storm. Have a good night. Catch up on that sleep. Thanks for stopping by. So that's their second Will of Ionia they've played. They 
Basically, should I play Nautilus again and let them Will of Ionia again? Could just go straight to attacks. Could play Devour and Abyssal Eye. I think I want to do that. So I feel like if I play Nautilus and they bounce it, then, then my turn's over. But if I play this and they get rid of it, then I still have Devour. You think they... You, like, just attack right away? Usually it... it Attack right away isn't as valuable against a deck with tons and tons of spells. Alright, Puppy's not on my lap anymore. Because, like, that's, like, they're going to have a, a whole bunch of spells over there. So if I just go straight attack right away, it's not like they're not, like, they're going to have interaction. Like, I don't think we're really hurt that much by playing this. So, like, because it, they don't have, like, slow s speed too much. You know, so they're not like a, a ruination, like slow speed deck. I wasn't really too worried about whatever um, other ally they want to put out there first. Fade's about to level up. Health Potion was the only card that saved Karma. The good news is they're not using that Health Potion to gain 6 life. That's the good news. Alright, and now we have a leveled up Twisted Fate. Guard. Yeah, we can find another Devourer of the Deep. And even if we don't have an answer to Unyielding Spirit, does that even matter? Like, we, we either go wide or we go over. We have, like, the Elusive. Like, how does how does this game change at all if, if any of these are Unyielding Spirited? Does, it, does that game change at all? Yeah, I was planning on playing Sejuani Frostbite tomorrow. We got rank up Sunday. Yep, I was gonna do that, play that tomorrow. They got their 10 cards, so what do they want to do? Virtue guides me. 
Uh, they did have something to die. Yeah, good vengeance. I'm gonna go with... Single combat? Uh, that's a lot worse. Now I wish I would've held up vengeance. No. I was gonna go with the gold card and make it not... Should have held a vengeance. I was gonna play that, then I was gonna play the pick a fate or pick a card, and I was gonna gold card and stun it. Still gonna do that. I don't want them attacking and gaining another five life attacking. Okay, so now... Now, how are we doing this? So they got eight mana. He's worse, low. Hello. Yeah, these single combats have been a little annoying. Dead in their 
your tracks. What else they got for six mana? Please, not another one of those. Oh no. Come on, hit. Don't hit the life gain guy. I mean, even if they don't hit the life gain guy, that's still pretty good. Pretty good. That gives him a lot of blockers for my 7-7s. Seven seven's. So even like this long game, like we've, we've both played a million cards. I still have six cards in hand. They still have seven cards in hand. Still playing lots of cards. Now they have now I have seven, now they have eight. So six cards left in library. They're at 14, and of course, uh, Karma's spell could put a bunch more in. That's the thing I'm probably worried about the most is we got to kill them before we mill out. I want to, um, and it kind of was my plan. Whenever I played it, uh, we had you know we had the twisted fate in play also, so we had the full thing. I want to play something and just obliterate this toad. I don't want it to get that last breath trigger. The Nautilus is already leveled up, so we're not gonna do like like we don't get the whole toss the allies back into the deck kind of thing. No, one of those was a shipwreck hoarder. The other one was a devourer. Those were two really good cards. Uh, I mean, we did put two treasures into the deck, so that was nice, but we just got rid of two other good cards in order to do that. I don't know what they're doing with that, but we're going to stop it. That's all I know. Three, respectable. That was a good win. That was a good win. And we moved up two slots. They did not play a single Lux in that game. No, they did not play a single one. Um. That definitely made my life easier, for sure. Yeah, that was Lux Karma. Is that you know we lost that deck the the game before and then and then yeah that game they didn't play a Lux Karma. But yeah, so you know like our our deck is you know, like I'm I'm really trying to um, hedge. I guess hedge is a good word. I'm trying to hedge against the fast aggro decks with these Make It Rains, Thorny Toads, Vile Feast, Wanderer, um, all of those together. Uh, you know, and then you have the withering whales and stuff. So like we're we're hedging against the like the cheap creature aggro with all that stuff. And and we did we didn't get paired against that. You know, we got paired against a lot of control decks. And we were drawing a lot of these cards, you know, because I mean that's 12, 
12 cards there. That's a big part of our deck that really aren't very good against control. And um, and then, you know, if you add in, like, Withering Whales, that's, like, 15 cards. Grasp really isn't that great. You know, like, so like, you, you can really, uh, as you can see, like, we have a lot of stuff that's not that great against control. Ruination, too. I mean, it, it starts adding up to, like, 40% of our deck. And sometimes you just get those cards. Um, but anyway, uh, lower ranks, you're going you're gonna to play against lots and lots of aggro. And I kind of feel like this deck may not be so bad against aggro with all this removal with the, a decent amount of life gain with Thorny Toad, Wanderer, uh, Grasp, Withering Whale. Got a good amount of life gain and everything, too. So, you know, if you're, if you're playing against tons and tons of aggro at the lower ranks, and if you like sea monsters... Give this deck a try, because as far as sea monsters go, this is kind of one of my my uh, sea monster decks that I like more than others. I like this kind of sea monster deck. Abyssal Eye was awesome, being elusive and huge. This card's underrated. This card's good. And Lure the Depths, also good card. Good card. Yeah, a second Vengeance would be nice. Um, I could see playing a second Vengeance instead of the second Grasp the Undying, maybe. Um, maybe instead of Ruination, you just play Second Vengeance. I could see that. Um, but all right, so there we go. That's Sea Monster Control. We got a couple other uh, good ones, especially Winter Karma. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be our next deck. Those y'all watch on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you got any uh, comments, questions, anything like that, leave them in the comment section and I'll, I'll answer them. But thanks so much for watching some Sea Monster Control, and I'll see you for the next video.